a startup is not easy. It requires lots of dedication, passion and hard work. It also involves lots of risks, challenges and uncertainties. There are many things which I've learned along the way, something in a very hard way. But there is something which could save me lots of time, money and frustration. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Stipura and I'm a startup founder living in Silicon Valley, talking about entrepreneurship, business, startups and as a founder I went through acceleration program in this industry of AI and startup time since 2021 and I wish to help at least someone with my advices. In today's video I would like to share three things which I wish to know when I started my AI startup. So the first thing is validate your problem and solution. This is I wish to know before and uh, this is what the accelerator to talk uh, to us uh, many times. Many AI startups fail because they build something that nobody wants or needs. They fall in love with their technology and forget about their customers. They assume that they know what the market wants and needs without doing any research or testing. It's a huge mistake. You can have the most advanced AI technology in the world, but if it doesn't solve a real problem or provide a real value for your customers, it's worthless. You need to validate your problem and solution before you invest too much time and resources into your startup. So how to do that? You need to talk to your potential customers, understanding their pain points and find out if they are willing to pay for your solution. You need to create a minimum viable product, MVP. It's kind of a simple version of your product, but it should demonstrate the value proposition to your potential customers. And then try if they're really willing to pay for such solution. Receive feedback and iterate based on the data not on your assumption. This process will help you to avoid wasting resources on building something that nobody wants. It will also help you to refine your product market fit, which is key to success for any startup. Number two is a high right team. This is the second thing which I wish to know when I started. Because to be honest, when it comes to talent in startups where like very limited resources you have, it's better to hire no one than to hire not the right fit. Of course, you need a team of talented and passionate people who share your vision and mission. You need a team that can complement your skills and strengths and cover your weaknesses and gaps. Hiring the right talent is not easy. It's hard to find people who have the right combination of technical, business and soft skills. It's hard to access their feed to your culture and values. It's also hard to attract and retain them in competitive market because uh, that people who are really great they have lots of offers. How to do that? You need to have a clear and compelling vision and mission for your startup and communicate it effectively to your potential hires. You need to have a well-defined and transparent hiring process and use objective and data-driven criteria to evaluate candidates. You need to offer competitive compensation and benefits and provide opportunities for growth and learning. Hiring the right team will help you to accelerate your development and growth. By the way, if you need like to check who is a good fit or not based on their resume, there is a link below for AI tool which helps you to actually understand if it's great fit or not in seconds. So feel free to use it free. And number three, oh my god, this is the most important, is to manage your emotions and expectations. This is the third thing I wish to know when I started. Running an AI startup or any startup is an emotional roller coaster. There are many highs and lows, emotional stress, and so many feelings at the same time. There is success and failures, joy and sorrow. Managing your expectations and emotions is not easy. By the way, I tried to learn how to manage my emotions in startups at the same time when the war in my country was happening, it's still happening, right? So it was like even harder. It's easy to get carried away by the hype and the hope and lose sight of the reality and the risk. It's like you hear all of the news that everything is perfect, that everyone is winning, they're raising money, millions, trillions, oh my god. And there is like thin line between like what is reality, what is expectations and where you are between them. It's easy to get discouraged by the setbacks and rejections and lose faith in yourself and your startup. But how to manage that? You need to have a realistic and balanced perspective of your startup and avoid being too optimistic or too pessimistic. You need to have a support system of mentors, advisors, some other founders and friends who can provide you with the realistic feedback but also care about you, not startup, but you. Managing expectations and emotions will help you to cope with the unlimited stress which comes together with running a startup and it will maintain your motivation and resilience to stay on that journey. So this is a three things which I wish to know when I started my startup and I wish that 
this information will help you to continue growing or start your business or startup wherever it is and to be more prepared because like the third part like emotional part it's the most complicated part ever i've experienced but you know once you overcome it once you adjust to it once you understand how to manage how to hire or how to validate the market it starts to be so easy it's just like you understand the pipeline and you're ready to go so good luck and all the best bye